Hey everybody, I'm back again. So today I wanted to focus in a little bit on fashion icon archetypes and the fashion icon archetype of the week that I have chosen is the provocateur. And the provocateur has a very sensual side that can be dangerous and a sensual side that can be very sweet. What does the provocateur do but provoke? feedback, provoke attention, provoke an experience. So the provocateur fashion icon archetype personality loves attention by default. Their style is magnificently calculating and makes a career out of controversy for its own sake. Like the anarchist, this type attracts attention through dressing outside of the box, but in this case in a more dominant, feline, seductive, Pandora's box kind of way. This powerful fashion icon personality seduces and attracts by sending the message, I may be dangerous, but come hither anyway. On the back side of my cards, what I share with you are the light qualities and the shadow qualities of these archetypes. Uh, for the provocateur, the light qualities could be a revolutionist, she could be courageous, he could be bold, sensual, daring, erotic, feminine, or not afraid of his femininity, open, powerful, attractive, maybe even a siren, enchanting, sexual, magical, very physical, graceful, strong, and capable. Those are all really great assets qualities and anyone would want those but on the shadow side of the provocateur and this is where they get in trouble uh, they can be overly seductive uh, they may have an inappropriate use of femininity of sensuality uh, they may be instigators they may be teasers uh, they may exploit their own feminine form, and for men, they may exploit their own physical form as well. Uh, this can be fatal. It could be antagonistic. It could be disruptive. In fact, it is disruptive. When people are inappropriately dressed, they can disrupt a whole country. I mean, look at, look at the way the women are, are dressed in the Middle East. We don't understand that, but... For them, they know if they dress otherwise, it would be really disruptive for the men in their country. So these are the reasons why we need to get to know our archetypes and you know what are they actually doing for us. I wanted to share some pictures of uh, Kate Moss's uh, latest spread and this model that she's using. This is a perfect spread of the provocateur. Here you can see the sexuality. Now this is going to provoke everyone's attention. And that's what Kate Moss wants to do because she now has her own modeling agency and she's promoting this transgender style model, this male model, Luca. So, you know, she wants you to remember her so she's going to provoke and she's going to do things that are out of the ordinary and that are out of the box so that you will remember her and you will notice. And she's done a pretty good job of that. Let's just hope she stays on the right track and doesn't let her provocateur shadow side get the best of her. Because we've seen that happen with people like Marilyn Monroe and um, oh Anna Nicole Smith, people like that, where the provocateur nature got the best of them. And we they're not here anymore. One last picture I want to show for all my leopard girls is this beautiful coat that Kate Moss is wearing. So that's it for the provocative archetype. If you would like to know more about your fashion icon archetype, uh, you can take the quiz on my website, laureliseshellis.com, uh, or stay tuned and I'll be talking about archetypes. Archetypes. Have a good day. Bye-bye.